Welcome to The Clopin Effect, a retail podcast. Thanks for hanging out with us today. I'm your host, Meredith. And I'm your host, Cass. Let's have some fun. All right, so... <laughs> so unprepared today because I actually had to work all day. Johnny's like, what are you going to talk about? I was like, uh, we'll figure it out when we get there. Well, always. <laughs> well, I had a plan today, and then I saw... Jess. Hi, Jess. Hi, Jess. <laughs> I saw her on Sunday and I was like, oh, I totally was stalking your TikTok and saw that you review things. We're doing a review yeah. episode too. Come so join us. Come join us. So here she is. Hi, Yay. Jess. Yeah. yeah okay. So super excited. So we have about seven companies that we're going to review. Yes. And it's just like an open box, like just blindly. We're going right. to like look at their websites and take a look at what they are. And we're going to give you like a true We're just going to give you our opinion. Yeah, exactly. Either we'll talk shit kinda, about them or we'll like them. I, I, you know, I sneaked <laughs> on their sites a little bit and read all their stories, so I know a little bit of their background, but I yeah. was thinking that I would just give you their website, and then you guys can look on your phones, and we'll go from there okay. and talk about it. Yep. So, okay. But first, let's talk about Jess. Oh, do you hi, go Jess. by Jess? Jessica, what do you go by? Uh, Jessica? Jess, Jessica, but not Jesse. Not Jesse. No, okay. Not Jesse. Not Jesse. No, you're not a Jesse. No, no, no. definitely not. No. Okay, <laughs> good, good to know. So, where have you been? What do you do? <sighs> wow. You've been in retail for <laughs> yeah, a long time. I, I work retail, yes. A uh, long time, almost 10 I years. Feel like, wow. I feel like every week you say you're going to get a new job and then you don't. Oh, yeah. I want to <laughs> get a new job every week or every day. I just say I wake up and I'm like, mm, you know, if I get fired, I'll just take it as a blessing at this I point. Know. <laughs> like, I think everybody's been saying that for the last year because we know we'll get that unemployment. <laughs> oh, my God. That'd be so nice. Like, please just fire me already. So years ago when I worked where you worked, I think you were overnights, right? Yeah. You worked oh, overnights I for a long time. That. For two and a half years, yeah. Wow. And I unloaded the trucks and stocked the shelves. So wow. that was just amazing. Yeah. yeah. No, it sounds glamorous. <laughs> At least you didn't have to deal with customers, really. Um, no, not as much because it was only the night weirdos that didn't want to talk to anyone. Yeah. yeah so and, I mean, okay they were open 24 hours during yes, that time, yes, though. So right. she probably still had to see customers, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. Right now they're closed, I think, right? Yeah. They close at 10 or something. Yeah. So it's so nice. I wonder if they'll ever go back to 24 hours. Mm -hmm. I hope not. Uh, yeah. Just for the sake of people's Yeah, like it just gets mental. stuff done maybe. Like Yeah, yeah that not, third like, shift probably. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah. You know, you don't have to keep stocking around people. You can just play and your then, music. Yeah. And, and then third shift has no reason why they didn't get shit done. Oh, they, yeah, they right. always have a reason. Yeah. <laughs> it and all depends always... on how first and second shift do, yeah, though, it's right? It's a vicious cycle. Vicious cycle. It is. They if they had a job. busy day. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you know, I went shopping there yesterday, and the woman that was checking us out, I was trying to help her with the bags, and they were all the way to the end. And she kind of like put her hands up. She's like, Yeah, this is what I walk into. Oh, they don't God. even fill the bags for me. And here oh, I am God. on lane 11, which is like the, the first, first yeah, lane yeah. that everyone everyone goes to oh my it was God. just so funny because it was second shift i'm like oh you mean like first shift didn't do anything is that what you're saying that gave you know? me ptsd <laughs> <laughs> she's like so here i am walking trying to in back. first thing you got to do is prep your station yeah, yeah. I, I well couldn't work you know what i'm sorry but first shift can't help that they work them to the last second you yeah know? like what do you want me to do you know? oh there's time we've all have you cashiered um only I, for helping right like if they call I like have a, only cashiered <laughs> okay. <laughs> like twice in my life, and it was on third shift, and I had a beautiful coworker to help me the whole time. <laughs> it was literally so. Four that's customers. not in yeah. your future. Okay. I would. Right. I would literally be cashing or you know checking people out and stocking bags. At yeah, the same that's what time. I was gonna say. Yeah. There's there's just no reason. Yeah. But eh, yeah. whatever. Yeah. So what do you do now? You're at the same place, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, pets. I do pets. pets. Yeah, I home solutions. So, do you okay. wish people would bring in their pets? Like, do you yes. love pets, or do you just work in the yes. department? I I would, but then I wouldn't be able to like get anything know, done. Like, yeah, like <laughs> can I, I pet that? I, I try to look aggressive almost because I'm just like lifting fifty pound bags. Yeah, half the what time. a workout! Oh yeah, people are like, oh look at her go, and I'm just like, yep, this is daily. <laughs> you get, like some of the customers that are like, oh, you got stuck with the 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 strong job today and i'm like well this is my department so <laughs> i get it every so day shocked i'm like you're like i do this yeah i'm like i'm not like 
five two in like a string bane. Like, yeah, yeah, you like you're strong. And then you go to the yeah. gym after work. <laughs> yes, I do yeah. go to the gym after work <laughs> almost every day. Wow. She's like, they didn't work me hard enough. I'm gonna yeah. work harder. I gotta go lift some weights. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> so I always used to run water. And so I would throw oh, the God. cases, the cases, because yeah. they never would listen to us and say, do a pallet drop, drop of water. Drop a pallet. Drop the pallets. Get rid of the aisles yeah. in that section and drop pallets of water. They never listened so, to me. So you always had to, you know, do yeah, the gallons yeah. in the water. Now I go to lift one. I'm like, oh, I'm pulling yeah. muscles in my back. I'm like, seriously, yeah. how did I do that? You fell out of that <laughs> one, huh? Yeah, for sure. So right before Rona, I think we had, you know, that's when I still worked there. We had a big meeting that they were supposed to switch up the lanes a little bit and make it so you would just drop a whole pallet of water and then mm-hmm. Rona hit and it never happened. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. It's so much easier. I know. I don't understand. I mean, thankfully now they'll usually throw a pallet over by cheese. Yeah, you know? yeah they do. They yeah. do. But, but it's, all the labor of yeah. having someone on water and there's someone that works overnight that just does that aisle yeah. right. yep. to fill coffee, tea, juice yeah, and water. Juice, yeah. 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 yeah Incredible crazy. to me. Well, you guys ready to do some reviews? Yeah. Oh, first, can you tell us what your TikTok is? Oh. I can't find it now. Oh. I, all of a sudden, her face came up. I'm like, oh, I know her. This was like a couple <laughs> weeks ago. I'm like, oh, so I went on and I'm watching all your stuff. It was really neat. You were like doing reviews and and then I think you were at Ren Fair too or something, yeah, right? Yeah, I, I saw that. Yeah, we just there talked about that. It's yeah. such a cute, um, it's such a cute page. Or what do you call it on TikTok? I don't yeah. know. Is, that, is it a page? A page. Yeah, yeah. It's just Queen An account. Eve. Yeah. It's in my Instagram. Everything is just always Queen Peeve. Queen Call. Peeve. Uh, spell that. Q U E E N P E E V E. Okay. Cool. Queen cool. Peeve. Go follow her. She's yeah. fun. Yeah. Super fun. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. Let's get down to business. Okay. So the first one we're going to talk about, I actually brought this up on a previous episode. Yeah. And you know this person. I know this person. This person is my lovely neighbor oh. and it's called KT's Cheesecakes DBA. So it's a, it's a large K, a large T apostrophe S Cheesecakes DBA. And um, like I had said in the previous episode, she had began making cheesecakes for family out of her own house. Well, people started getting word. It got a little big. Mm-hmm. You know, people started ordering that she didn't even know who they were. Oh, wow. Oh, somebody called the health department on her. Because technically, if you're going to sell food, you have to have a separate kitchen with a three-compartment sink. Oh, yeah. I remember talking no about that. And blah, blah, blah. So health department shows up at her house. And she's like, holy shit, you know, like, yeah. I never meant for this to happen. I just wanted to make some cheesecakes for my family. So she ends up hooking up with this bakery. It's called the Sugar Circle. It's mm. in Woodstock, Illinois. Um, come to find out, I think sh- her and the owner found out that they're like long distance cousins. Somehow. Oh, my gosh. Like, six what are the chances? Cousins, two times removed. Or and however and they're both that. bakers. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So um, <laughs> she hooked up with them. And she said, hey, you know, I need a place to make my cheesecakes, blah, blah, blah. She brought some samples into them. They said, oh, my God, we will definitely sell your cheesecakes here for you. So word started getting around around uh, about her cheesecakes, right? And I've had her cheesecakes plenty yes, of times. You've mentioned they them are before. delicious. <laughs> and I'm like, every Sunday, I'm like waiting for her to come home from work because she'll bring us the cinnamon rolls from the bakery <laughs> that are like going to get thrown out. You know, she'll bring like four of them and I, they're huge. Oh, man. You have to share them with like two people at least. I do not like, share. Dude, you, you cannot. <laughs> it will make you sick. They are huge, you know? So, um, she also, a couple of restaurants started picking her up. Like, this is how good these cheesecakes wow. are, okay? Oh, wow. Everybody that, I know, like, anybody can make a cheesecake, but she makes phenomenal cheesecakes. And they sell them by the slice at restaurants? Correct. Is that how it is? Okay, so, okay. So, I know she's um, at the Column Knoll. That is oh, a yeah. bar and restaurant in Ringwood, Illinois. Um, she is also at... After the Fox, which is in McHenry, Illinois. Oh, yeah. I see that Um, on her Facebook page here. She also did with a brewery a beer and cheesecake pairing. Oh, wow. So it's like you take a sip of beer and you have a bite of cheesecake. Why haven't we done that yet? (laughs) Oh, my God. I know. I'm going to have to ask her, like, are are you over there? Where is it? Can we go get some cheese? 
you know, maybe we can just have her bring home some beer and cheesecake I'm just, for us. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she's in the neighborhood, right? I could probably put in an order. Yeah. <laughs> like, we were in the neighborhood. Yeah. You tell her what beer you want, and she'll find a cheesecake to go with it. Because, you know, I don't drink that weird that weird beer yeah. that you drink. My, normally, my weird beer. But, like, cheesecake, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll drink some Coors Light. So you were looking through her page. Did you find one that you like, or what's your favorite cheesecake? Oh, my and God. And I guess, do you eat cheese? Cake. Oh yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, cheesecake is my favorite. She's like, uh, yeah. Like, so even her Facebook profile picture, it has like, I'm pretty sure that that's a um, like a a pecan glaze chocolate cover. It might be like I think she has one with like bacon on it. Oh wow, maple I bacon. Yeah. There's raspberry. There's caramel chocolate. Yeah, I'm there's a huge caramel fruit. fruit. See, I love raspberry. Yeah. And Ooh. Stuff like that. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. White yeah. chocolate, like yeah. raspberries. Wow. Hey, and I'm going down to July 31st, and she talks about us. Yes. <laughs> because remember, I kind of talked about her, but I was like, ooh, I didn't ask her if we could talk about her. I should probably ask her if we could talk about her. She was like, absolutely. Oh, my gosh. That's funny. So what does she have? Chocolate turtle, cherry pie, death by chocolate Oreo, carrot cake, cheesecake. I mean, wow. come on. Amazing. Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of selection. Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's there like four four days a week, I think, making cheesecakes. Amazing. So, so that's yeah. Katie's. So Katie's Cheesecakes DBA. Yep. Amazing. Go give her a follow on Facebook. They are so good. Loading. All right. Okay. So the next one we're taking a look at is Skidbark's Dog Toys. <laughs> <laughs> Which you can find them on Instagram. Don't Google it because it just comes up. Skidmark's poop in underwear. Oh, no, gosh. <laughs> okay. So Skid. Barks. And and you're like, are they on Facebook? I'm like, no, they're on Facebook. <laughs> Actually, they're on Instagram. So Skid Barks Dog Toys. Yeah. So this at first, so when she sent me the information, at first I was like, man, this is weird. But I'm also not a dog owner. But then the more I look, the more I'm like, these are so cute. <laughs> So it looks like she's out of Hudson, Wisconsin. I'm okay. not sure where that is. I didn't look on the uh I didn't look on the map to see where that's And she's at. completely yeah. against puppy mills. Yes. She loves senior dogs. Yes. She does handmade to- dog toys yes. that look like underwear. Underwear. <laughs> they look like un- like whitey tidies. Yep. You can get boxers. Yeah. They have a little pocket you can hide a treat in and the boxers, the crotch of the boxers, <laughs> the whitey tidies. Okay, let me find a picture of this one because when you first showed it to me, I'm like, what is that? And it's like a piece of bacon on the butt yep. that yeah. looks like a poop. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's a skid bar. It's a skid bar. <laughs> it's a skid bar. It's like literally like it's probably like bacon scented or something. Oh, oh and she's yeah. got cute videos how she makes it and everything. And, and then she even models the the items that she makes. So there's like a cute little truck with yeah. like the underwear in the back. She's uh, got her cute little like old dog chewing on a pair of underwear <laughs> senior dog sorry yeah. <laughs> he's an old man he's a cute old man oh there's also owner swag so she's got oh there's a free britney on here yeah all right amazing mm-hmm. we definitely free support free britney, britney. Mm-hmm. <laughs> i don't care who you are if you don't support free britney you're just evil <laughs> oh yeah completely. oh so cute wow that's amazing okay oh, and it says good evening to everyone except britney's dad <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, go check them out on Instagram. It's Skidbarks Dog Toys, and we'll post you know all the links on our on our uh, Facebook and Instagram as well. Booty but so bloomers, cute. dog toy undies. This is just so funny. So funny. The names. Yeah, they're cute, right? <laughs> That's so cute. Do you have pets? Oh yeah. What do you have? Yeah, a dog and a cat. Oh, would yeah. they want a Skidbark underwear? <laughs> oh yeah, bear would eat that. Yeah, bear would definitely <laughs> eat that. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I, I looked up her bio on skidbarks.com. There's a link in her Instagram that you can go look at it. Um, so it said skidbarks are dog toys that look like undies. If you have an undie thief or a sense of humor, these are for you. Our toys are not made in a factory either. Should a dog skidbarks is focused on bringing awareness to the puppy mill industry. A portion of our profits will be donated to help end pet farming. So go Amazing. support them. Yes. Amazing. Well, Clopin already follows them. Yes. So, yeah. Woo. <laughs> our next called? one, What's Growing Vibes. Growing Vibes. Yes. You can find them on Instagram. Mm-hmm. Growing Vibes. 
Um, it says, I created growing vibes because I had just lost my toddler and had so much grief. I didn't know what to do. So I transmuted my grief into handmade items. So she had actually sent us a message. A very, very great detailed, detailed message. Detailed, yeah, yeah. Amazing. And about- she said the reason she needed to raise some money was actually for her son's headstone. headstone. And it's uh, Riker. Yes. He was um, just six days after turning two, he passed. Yeah. Um, it was sudden and horrible. She said Aww. he is a twin. Oh. So, um, so they all, on this Growing Vibes, that they feature Riker's rainbows. Yes, I see that. So, yeah. yeah. Handmade items in memory of my son, Riker. Mm-hmm. Um, I've made using the grief of losing him, sun catchers, car charms, mm-hmm. bracelets, pocket and full-size malas. Mala style sphere stands and more. Um, she also has one of a kind crystals that she hand picks. Um, so I know like a uh, few people in my family are definitely into the energy of yeah. rocks and crystals. <laughs> mm-hmm. So I can get behind that. Yeah. So she said she began picking crystals for resale. So that's yeah. what she does on this as well. And then just another note on Riker, his heart went to a two-month-old girl, his pancreas and liver to a two-year-old boy, and he is her hero. And his nickname is Reichstar. Yeah, and she says child loss is the ugliest. We absolutely agree. So now we're going to take a look at her website. Let's see. So she also has a um, code on there. All orders over one fifty get free shipping. One hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah, okay. mm. if you type in free ship to get free shipping on all orders. Oh wow! Over one hundred. She does specialty bucks. items, Honestly, dude. She makes like plant I feel, arrangements too. I feel like Beautiful. I'm shopping right now. I know. Yeah, right? I know. Yeah. <laughs> These are nice. Beautiful. Oh, and there's a picture of Riker. Oh, baby. Very nice. Very nice. All right, so go visit. Oh, my God, he's, like, totally covered in mud, my, too. I he's know. so <laughs> cute. Oh, yeah, it's adorable. Aww. Aww. All right, so go visit Growing Vibes. Yeah, go show her some support. She also, on her Instagram, it says Growing Magic Vibes on there. So there's yeah. two. There's, well, it's not two. Vibes. It's one page, but she says Growing Magic Vibes and Growing Vibes. Yeah. So... Very oh, neat. yeah. She's Very got some neat. really cool stones and mm-hmm. stuff, too. Yeah, definitely. We're going to take a break real quick and ask Jess about um, doing some pricing in stores yeah. and what she mm-hmm. noticed. She was kind of mentioning it to us. so Because you run the whole department, right? So everything yeah. top to bottom. Yeah. yeah. So, like, every Sunday I do, like, at least three to two hours of stickering. So I'm just yeah. putting up, you know, the sales New signs New tags and stuff. And stuff. And yeah. Yeah. So while I'm going through the tags, I'm just realizing, you know, like, there's a tag saying, you know, like... Oh, lower price. And it's just saying like, you know, 14, like, I think it was like 1439 or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And then it says was 1449. And I'm so like, it's whole 10 cents <laughs> off. Yeah. Like why like even waste the price? Why even waste the ink to print that? Yeah. But well, they did they really lower the price? Well, <laughs> my curiosity, <laughs> I'm like, oh, let's move this tag and see what, you know, they're trying to cover up because, you know. They yeah, yeah, up. yeah. And I'm like, twelve ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you're doing the math in your head, uh, right? Like, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a lie. Let me oh move my that god. Back over. Oh like, no. Oh, no. I'm like, th- there's not even normally like a was on there. Right. So like to see the was for me was a shock. So so I'm like, well. I'm a curious person. Yeah. Let me chow. No. Yeah. Oh. So I think we're gonna start seeing a lot of that. Is the cost of everything going up? Yeah. Oh, for it's sure. been going up. I've yeah. seen a lot of things go up, like at least seven to ten dollars. Yeah. And there's no one to restrip and reset the. So they're just putting the tags up, saying yeah, no. yeah. it was you know fourteen ninety nine. Now it's fourteen fifty nine. Yeah. But two weeks ago it, it was, was twelve ninety nine. Yeah. And then there'll be a <laughs> you know? sale saying, oh, you know, it'll be for like five dollars less, and everyone thinks that they're getting it for right. a sale, but it was the normal price before yeah. they raised oh, it. Oh my yes. goodness. Yeah. I think that's been going on forever. You know? I know. That's but... I okay, this is one of my biggest pet peeves <laughs> working at the store. <laughs> Was when it was like buy two get one free, and people would try to like buy one get one free. Oh yeah, because it's like, well, you have to buy two, and one of them is free. No, you have to purchase two of them, and the third, third one is one, free. Yeah. Oh, I wanted them to change <laughs> the that wording. wording. Yeah. So bad. Because people would just be like, well, that's what your sign says. You have to give it to me. No, I don't, Karen. <laughs> I like when the it's buy two, get one free, and then they have 
three coupons because they want oh. the coupons to work on all three items, yes. but you can't use a coupon right. on the one that's free. Right. No. Well, yes, I can. No, yes. you can't. No. Or I mean, I wouldn't. I would end up not fighting with them because I whatever. You just, you just give them a five dollar coupon. Yeah, Jesus, or get whatever. Out of my they, face. I know. I know. <laughs> Next. So I like when it's buy one get one free. So the register prorates it, right? Yeah, yeah. If it's two items that are sixteen ninety nine, it's going to split it down the middle, mm-hmm. and it's technically going to charge you half price for each mm-hmm. item, right? Well, then they come up to the service desk like, I want to return this one. I want my full price oh, back mm-hmm. for this. I, what do you mean you're only giving me half back? Well, ma'am, I can't. It's it's buy one, get one free. You don't just get to keep the free one. <laughs> no. You have to buy the first one. Yeah. So it's only giving you half back. Well, that's ridiculous. You know, just the things that people think are ridiculous, I think are ridiculous. ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, what? That's Stupid. <laughs> See, this is why I can't work up front. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. She'd be like, are we all idiots yeah, around here? Yeah. So you want to hear something really ridiculous? <laughs> <laughs> so generally, I pack my lunch for work, right? And a couple days ago, I packed this really nice salad. Yeah. And I was like, it has tomatoes on it. Mm. And like, I like those glazed pecans with dried cranberries oh my gosh. and stuff, right? So I was so busy at work, like, I didn't even take a lunch that day, right? So I'm like, that's cool. I'll just throw it in the fridge and I'll bring it tomorrow. tomorrow. So yesterday I bring it and I was like, I really don't want salad. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't eat it. I left it in my lunchbox and I went and got a piece of pizza. <laughs> so, so much today, better than salad. <laughs> so this morning I'm like looking in the fridge and I'm like, fuck, I have to eat this salad yeah. today, you know? So I put it in my lunchbox <laughs> and I'm like, go to eat my lunch. And I'm like, this is disgusting. <laughs> all wilted and stuff <laughs> like the pecans have been sweating all the oh! glaze off. <laughs> guess i'll have like another piece soft. of pizza <laughs> well and i was at my worst store oh. where it's like taco bell oh. dunkin donuts kfc oh. burger king mcdonald's oh. is like literally in the same what? like area and i'm like fuck <laughs> <laughs> So many options. I know. So many options. I had a Whopper Junior. <laughs> I was just going to ask you what you had. Do you bring food for lunch or um, dinner? Whatever? Yeah, I try to most of the time for lunch. Uh, now, what do you bring? I, I try to bring just a salad, but mine's yeah. not a fancy salad. No. It's just literally spinach because yeah. salad messes me up. So yeah, I'll just yeah, do yeah. spinach. Does it? Yeah. Cut a cute cubes of uh, cheese and yeah. then tomatoes. Is good. Yeah, 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 yep. yeah. That's a perfect salad. That's okay. Oh, wow. We all waste food, yeah. like salad. Yeah, I've done that. <laughs> I never waste a taco times. though, or pizza. I never waste that. I don't think I've ever wasted uh, those two no. things. Frozen pizza, I have. You like, wasted them? What? You can leave that on the counter all night and eat it the next morning. Yeah. Cold. She is <laughs> horrified with it. It's Jack's, I'll eat it anytime. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, Jack's is good. Yeah, like yeah. pizza so much. Yeah. Jack's is good though. I yeah. have to agree there. Anime. So this one, I'll uh, I'm gonna chat with this one because this is my daughter. <laughs> we're looking at claymorejewelry.com. I told her we were going to talk about it because she is flipping oh, talented. Yeah. And she's like, she's on everything. She's on Etsy, Pinterest. She's got a website, everything. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Everything. Fully loaded. Fully loaded. <laughs> I actually have one of her designer pieces. You do. I have a keychain. I gifted I it to you. Yes. I have a few earrings. And it's so funny because she has them all upstairs in the salon. So if I'm going to go out on a Friday or Saturday night, I'll walk up there and send her a picture. I'm like, how much are these? And Did she'll be she like, 15 bucks. I want these, yeah. but I want them as barrettes. Yeah, she can do those. <sighs> I'm going to send her a message right yeah. now. She's upstairs. <laughs> she'll, she'll do it. Julia! <laughs> <laughs> Come down here right now. I have to put in my order. <laughs> So she does like dangles, she does shorter ones, she does rainbows, she does They are so stars. Cute. You know what I like that she just started doing was the octopuses. Yes. Yeah. I, I think they look like squids to me. Squids. Yeah, they look yeah. like squids too. Yeah. I don't know. I know she asked yeah. everybody, like, what do you think? Oh, she calls them hey there jellyfish. I was gonna say they look hey like jellyfish. Hey there jellyfish. <laughs> oh, jellyfish. That's what it yeah. is. Not octopuses. Yeah, I don't know. They jellyfish. you know what really though? It's abstract, so it can be whatever you want it to it's be. Whatever you know? I want it to yeah. be. Yeah. <gasps> these ones are really cute too. I haven't seen some of these. And I just looked at her 
jewelry up in the salon the other day because we had our bestie go up there and get a pedicure. Yeah, we did. <laughs> so we went and talked to her, and I was like, oh, my God, you got Halloween ones? She does. She's got a Christmas, Halloween, winter. Th- what? She's making coasters? No, I don't think what that's her. This? Oh, is this somebody else? <laughs> <laughs> I scrolled into somebody else's. Oh, territory. forget it. So no, no coasters. Sorry, no coasters. Earrings, but I bet chains, if you asked, I bet if you asked for them, she'd she would absolutely make, them. make a oh, coaster. Yeah. 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 Just send her a message. So, oh, so cute. They are She's so always cute. working on them. And she actually um, is going to the Lake Geneva Venetian Festival Fair. Oh, yeah. Um, what is it? The craft, craft fair. Yes. Oh. Yeah, this weekend. So hopefully she'll sell everything and then have to remake everything. Yeah. So. All right, clammorejewelry.com. That's my daughter. Go Perfect. share her shit and shop her stuff. <laughs> share her shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so our next... Is an artist. Very, wow. Very awesome. Wow. Shannonabbey.com. So S A J N N O N A B B E Y. Shannonabbey.com. Yes. So where is amazing. she from? I want to see where she's from. Yeah, I don't from. know. What's a 707 Let me look at area code? About Shannon. Petaluma, California. Okay. Oh, and her husband is a cartoonist. Oh. Wow. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, she's uh, her affinity for drawing and painting animals, birds, fish, and nat and whoops, and nature in general stems from her childhood hunting and fishing with her father. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, and their hunting dogs were considered her best friends. So she up. shares her current work and what she's working on. She shows some recent portraits. Yes. <gasps> um, that super cute puppy dog that pops up first you can get it on a tote oh, <laughs> oh i want one it's only 40 bucks i'm totally gonna order one of these with my jakey poo's face on it wow oh oh if you want a, a portrait of your pet on paper it's 300 <laughs> wow that's because you're say, getting the best yeah. yeah oh my god so and it says she's hoping to to start doing online classes. That would be awesome. Amazing. Very vivid Beautiful. colors. Very cool. And then you can connect with her on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Yeah. Um, whole bunch of stuff. Oh, and then she's got her illustrations too, like homespun craft fair at McNear. Like she does oh. commercial work too, right? Wouldn't that be co- oh, yeah, commercial yeah, yeah. work? Yeah. yeah. So if you need a sign for your business. Wow. Ooh, she could do a sign for your business. Influenced by mid-century advertising art i obviously can't speak today because it takes me a minute to read I know. <laughs> maybe i need yeah. glasses i probably do i i know you I can do. find her on linkedin wow she's everywhere yeah and she's got i'm gonna look at her yelp reviews let's see what her yelp reviews are she's got one review five stars and that's perfect oh perfect. Well, very good shannon thanks for sending Thank us you, your shannon. information yeah. so great shannonabby.com So, hi, Belinda McBain. We're taking a look at nesteggfarm.shop. Nesteggfarm.shop. And she has some hilarious <laughs> stuff. I'm always Super looking, cute shirts. I'm always looking for funny stuff. So, right away off the bat, I see a doormat that says, I hope you like dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite. So cute. So, she says that they're a small family farm. Their goal is to be 100% sustainable living by 2025. Wow. And I'm proud of like my peach tree. You know what I'm saying? Dude, (laughs) there was a ton of peaches on that tree. She's also had a love for personalized gifts, but the cost was insane. So she's taken her love for custom gifts um, and created Nest Egg Farm. Okay. And I'm going to say like, because I, Christmas time, I always... For the last, I'm going to say five years, have tried to shop small. Right? Yes, of course. Instead of ordering a bunch of crap off Amazon, who's already a billionaire anyways, you don't need no more money. Yeah. I try to find really cool stuff. So like last year, I got us all the the fuck 2020 yeah. ornaments. <laughs> ornaments yeah. That was a small local business, you know. So I'm going to say for a local business, her prices are not bad. She's no. got t-shirts yeah. for 22 bucks. That I see is some that are bad. 19. Yeah. Yeah, that's. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. Radiate positivity looks really, really nice. It's like a tan colored shirt. I like the Beetlejuice one that says, you're the ghost with the most, babe. 
Yeah, there's just a whole bunch of stuff. So cute. So much stuff. Okay, I got to look at the home decor while we're on here. Because yeah, nesteggfarm.shop, everybody. Take a look. Very, very cute. We hope you have a very good reason to make our dog spark. Yes. Aww. Welcome. Please leave by nine. <laughs> Favorite. <laughs> Home is where your pet is. There's custom tumblers. They have accessories. New arrivals for baby. Home decor. Wow, cute. I'm um I'm I'm pretty sure I will also be ordering some stuff for Christmas from this one. <laughs> <laughs> we have our list here. This is why yeah. we picked everybody. Yeah. That we're talking about. Jessica, what do you think of this one? Oh, this definitely they got some cute stuff on. They have here. a pink yeah. drink Starbucks keychain that includes a tassel for eight dollars. That is so, That's so cute. cute. Yeah. What? Welcome to our lake house. I need that. We have yes, a lake you house. Yes, you do. That's so cute. I can't wait to have a welcome to my lake house. I'd rather be fishing. Very Free cute. Egg. Oh, egg, bacon, dairy, and it's like a chicken on top of a pig on top of a cow. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I she like has that. a lot of different items. There's yeah, really yeah. Hard detail decals and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. All right. Nesteggfarm.shop. Thanks, Belinda. Go give her a follow. Go check out her website. Super cute stuff. Okay. So when you make ribs, chicken, anything like that, what do you use? Do you use barbecue sauce? Um, well, yeah, a lot of people start with a dry rub and then they sauce it up at the end. So do I have the sauce for you? Do we have the (laughs) sauce? <laughs> the sauce for you. Honey barbecue sauce by Hickory Hill Foods, LLC. Yes, mm-hmm. it looks very good. It does. Um, I think we're going to get a free sample for my friend Stormy. Yeah. And then we can so really was, talk about it. I was going to say, yeah, this was suggested to us by a friend. Yeah. Um, it doesn't really say, like, they, they give. So okay. they're a small family-owned business just starting out. Just starting out. Currently, they have one product, which is the um, honey. Barbecue honey, sauce. Honey barbecue sauce, yep. Um, that they hope that all of us will love. I already love barbecue sauce, so that's a yes. Where's Watertown? Watertown. We're going to figure out where Watertown. they're at. Oh, it's in Wisconsin. Okay, okay. so it's Watertown, right. Wisconsin yeah. that they're in. Okay. So it's pretty local to us. We're pretty yeah. close to the border. Six ninety nine for a yeah. bottle, so go take a look. It looks... Absolutely, Actually, it delicious. looks really good, and all their yeah. pictures look good. Yeah, because why do they gotta like smoke a bunch of meat and, and like, then oh my have God. us review it? Yeah. <laughs> I just want to drink the sauce now. Decided <laughs> to fire up the smoker yesterday and try something new. Holy moly! Yeah, that looks good. So much bacon. I bet it'd be good on your Beyond Burger. Absolutely. <laughs> We're gonna find out when Stormy brings me a sample. Yeah, um, I have to come over for dinner that night. (laughs) They have exciting news. You can now buy it in Watertown. Yes. Yeah, really, really neat. Oh, so um, they're at the Vendor's Market at 320 Summit Avenue, Watertown, Wisconsin, 53094. So they're open seven days a week, Monday through Friday, 10 to 6, and Saturday and Sunday from 10 to 2. Go get you some. Go get some. Go get you some honey barbecue sauce. What is it? Hickory Hills honey barbecue yeah, sauce? Yeah, Hickory Hill. There's no S. I oh. kept saying hills. Yeah. Okay. Hickory, Hickory Hill, Hill Foods. Hill foods. Yeah. Hickory Hill honey barbecue sauce. That's a mouthful. Say I like it the three HH times. on the bottle, too. <laughs> HHH. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. 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 Delicious. Yep. <laughs> Go try it. <laughs> Go like the page. Dark, so to show you guys, what is this? I'm just gonna like really get it right. <laughs> See if you guys can okay. can guess Here what it is. <sighs> <laughs> so yeah, it's for my fan. It's a light switch cover. It's a Venus. <laughs> <laughs> Best four bucks ever. Best four bucks ever. <laughs> So That's Queen good. Peeve is here, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. <laughs> she is, is the hilarious. queen of reviews on her TikTok. This is hilarious. It's like four videos down if you want to go see the uh, the light switch <laughs> penis cover. Or the switch, actually, I guess. Right? I keep saying light switch. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Like it like literally just like pops, pops on. on. Your, yeah. That is so funny. It, it, it's so funny. It's amazing. It actually, like, the glow-in-the-dark feature was like... <laughs> <laughs> I seen on the cake. Oh <laughs> gosh, you guys gotta check this out. It's so funny. <laughs> so what else did you get? Like, did you get anything? Did you unbox anything and you were like, yes, besides that? Were you just like, this is amazing. I cannot live without this. I have a few items like 
there's uh, been a girl that I follow for forever, and we've been talking like for I don't even know a couple months because I actually got one of her things, uh, like actually a few of them, and she actually made me like a little Tom Nook thing. But it's like they're oh. shakers; they're just like Pokemon keychain shakers. But yeah, uh, no, that's actually a different one. Oh, okay. But they're like Pokemon keychain shakers, and she's just really over the top, like nice. About everything she wow. customizes, all the she gave you like little everything. candies in there too. Yeah, she yeah. gave me little candies, Cute. and she even gave me like, like the whole Tom Nook thing was just like a little freebie because she like felt bad that she was taking long, even though Aww. it said four to six weeks in her thing. I was like, you're not yeah, right. She's long. one person, probably yeah. with you know, and a she did really people. nice packaging. Yeah, she does like the wax stamps and everything. Yeah. What is her business? It's at Keyblade Master Kitty. Yeah. Okay, so that's and she's the one that made that yeah, for you. Yeah, she oh. makes everything, and she will like literally help you customize everything down to the coloration of your keychain specifically. Wow, Silver gold. it's some cute stuff. Yeah. Oh wait, there's the penis light switch cover again. So I have my <laughs> I have my sound off, but how was the Clawson Ranch Dill pickles? Oh, um, I am the biggest pickle fanatic, and I have an actual video that like declares that yeah. for everyone. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I drink juice, everything. Yeah. yeah. Like, I don't discriminate. <laughs> yeah. But Clawson are my favorite. Yes. And the seasoning with it, if you let it sit for at least two days, not like just a day, it's magical. I don't really? really describe it. Like it's literally ranch, but the right amount of pickle flavor. I'm going to have it. to do that. And yeah, for gotta, sure. Like, it does look weird because, like, you know, you got to stir it a lot, but. Yeah. Uh, it's wow. Good. And what's Ooh, this I lump of coal see- that you got? Oh. Oh, sorry. No. <laughs> We're just looking at no, her TikTok. Cole, Cole is uh, a ba- uh, bath bomb from oh. um, Bubbly Bell. Sorry, Cass, go ahead. I was looking at the Japanese miso ramen. That looked oh. delicious. Was that good? Yes, that is really good. It was actually like I added, obviously, some stuff to you it. You got to add some stuff to oh, ramen. Oh, yeah, always. Always. <laughs> always. But it's all dried up. You got to add yeah, some fresh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that I am, one was a I'm, good one. I'm a ramen addict also, yeah. and I always add stuff to my yes. ramen. Like, I'll put cut up chicken in it, or I'll crack an egg in it, or, mm. you know, put some green onions on it, or whatever, you know. Yep, you've got green onions when on When I yours. was young, um, ramen was what we ate a lot with my best friend from the hood. Yeah. And <laughs> her dad always had us put ketchup in it. And that was it. That's all we would eat like my for lunch. My dad puts Ouch. ketchup in like chicken noodle soup. Yeah, what? My mom would, yeah. Like, it's not bad. It's it. not She's bad. Like, Get he out. Makes, he's disgracing my chicken oh, noodle. Oh, you did like hard boiled eggs on it and yeah. mushrooms. Mm. Okay, I did put like those bean sprouts, but uh, I will never get bean sprouts after that because I know bean sprouts always have like recalls against them. Yes, and oh. I think those should have been recalled. A lot of places really? won't even sell bean sprouts or the. Um, yeah. What's the other ones? The little micro greens. The Wait, why? Little, because you can't wash Some, them yeah. properly and they grow in shit. Yeah. They grow in shit? Yeah, pretty oh, much. Oh. You know what I mean? Like mushrooms grow in shit, but you can like wash them. Like these are too little. Now, when you say shit, whose shit is it? Who knows? Oh, <laughs> no. All I know is I was, uh, my stomach wasn't doing good for a really? while. Really? Yeah. Like, like a worker working the field could like spread his out? Yeah, no. I mean, oh, yeah, yeah. stop okay, it. How many <laughs> times, it just got dark. Listen, how many times have you seen like uh, spinach get recalled for listeria, yeah, salmonella? Yeah. I don't rinse my mushrooms. <laughs> they oh, grow what? in shit, I do. Oh, no. But I rinse my chicken. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking weirdo. <laughs> Because mushrooms are porous, so you don't want to run water over okay, them. So, so I wipe them off with a listen, very soft paper towel. Listen, Alton, <laughs> Alton Brown, which is one of my favorites. I've yes. been watching him since I was like 12, right? <laughs> I'm going to give a shout out to Alton Brown. because <laughs> This is the shout out lot. episode. He taught me a lot when I was a kid. I loved his show because he didn't just teach you how to make a recipe. He taught you the science of the recipe. Oh, right? okay, okay. So like, why does it do this? Why did, why when you add cornstarch, does it thicken it up? He would have these like, you know, he'd have like styrofoam. That's why you're such a good like, chef and baker. I, well, baker. Eh, chef. You're very good. <laughs> okay. So he said it was a myth that mushrooms even like collect the water. He actually like took a pound of mushrooms, weighed them. Okay. They weighed a pound. He dunked them in water, like swished them around, washed them really good, weighed them again. They weighed like maybe 
one point zero 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 zero. Yeah, see, pounds. see, they suck. They suck up water. See, get it's out. The point one, one zero 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 zero. Get the fuck out. It's actually they actually do that with like shiitake mushrooms. They soak them in water yeah. because if you didn't, they'd be too like dry. Otherwise. Yeah. yeah, yeah. See, I don't yeah. know. I wipe them with a nice paper towel. I, know, I will now forever I rinse them. Put them on a paper towel. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's like the more you know, but. I want to know less. This <laughs> okay, so this is the one that I, I actually commented on your TikTok. Which one is that one? So I'm going to call you out on this one, Jessica. You <laughs> said, please stop making minimum wage higher. All it does is make prices go up. Prices go up anyways. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my, min- my, my wage hasn't gone up. <laughs> exactly. General strike October 15th. I don't know if I told you guys that. <laughs> She's probably I'm, like, that's when I first started TikTok. Can you go up to the top when I was reviewing <laughs> shit? <laughs> I'm trying to be more neutral for everybody out there and not put my political opinion so much on the show anymore. You know, I was talking to a friend today because all the kids are going back to school and they're po- they're posting pictures of like kids with their arms folded, like they're mad about wearing masks and all this kind oh, of bullshit. God. I'm like, stop it. Oh, and God. so many of us are commenting that it's the parents yeah. and yeah. guardians yeah. doing yeah. it. Yeah. Like if you told your kid who is four or five, you're on your way to school, pre-K, kindergarten, you're yeah. going to have to wear a mask all day, similar to when we go to the store. Right. The kid would go, okay. Okay. And yeah. they would go. Yeah. So don't even tell me that I these know. kids are angry no. and stop taking pictures of kids acting like they're mad yeah. because they have to wear a mask. Yeah. It's definitely the parents. Yes. And we I don't see, care. Come at me. Come at me. I don't care. I'm a parent. My kids wear masks the to their college yeah. and I don't say anything right. about it. Right. I actually, you know what I say as on their way out to the train or wherever they're going? You got your mask? Yeah. Okay. See you later. Have a good day. Because they told us to. Yeah. Who cares? Yeah. yeah. Just freaking do it. Mm-hmm. Who cares? We have to go back to wear masks in the city. And I know. I'm I not know. happy about no, it. No. Ah, you know, and then, uh, then I'll go on this side. When you have to work wearing a mask and you're hot, I get it. You know what? It, I don't, it is okay. tough. It is tough. I'm not saying it's not tough. I don't want to complain because nurses and doctors do it Absolutely. for literally 12 yeah. hours a day. And they, forever, whether there's a mandate or not. That's I know. what they yeah. do. I know. You know so in I surgery really, and, I don't want to complain, but Jesus, I fucking hate it. Yeah. <laughs> I need to ask... <laughs> I need to ask my mom who's a nurse. I need to ask my niece who's a nurse and yeah. you know everyone else that I know that in the medical yeah. field how they feel about these people making right. a big deal about it because right. that's their life I'm to sure, keep people safe. Well, you know, and one of my besties, Erica, she works at the hospital too and she's definitely tired of hearing people complain about it, that's yeah. for sure. So I'm going to just bring up a medical story that I heard and I'll probably get it wrong and someone will oh, correct God. me like my friend that I walk with. She always corrects me on stuff that I say. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Our Mr. Banker friend, he was like, you guys are wrong all the time. And I'm like, <laughs> so what? We don't care. We're just we're just a bunch of Karens complaining about stuff on yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, we don't yeah. care if we're right or wrong. No, I like that comment on TikTok where oh, he's like, God. a bunch of Karen's talking about a car. And you're like, I assure you, we yeah, are not. Yeah. <laughs> he's like talking about stuff you don't even know about. I'm like, we are not Karen's, but sometimes we don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> we just make sure. Or up according to go. our banker friend, we don't ever know what yeah, we're talking we never about. Know. He's we like, know. you guys are so wrong we know. about that. Yeah. You know why? Because we're just talking right now. We're not looking stuff up. I really wish and... my Mr. Banker friend would come on the show. I know. I think he would be Frickin' hilarious, yeah. and he people watches all day yeah. long. People watching is the best. It, it is, is the, the best. best. <laughs> and you just went to Run Fair. Is that not the best people watching ever? Because oh, there's the some best. real freaking weirdos. <laughs> <laughs> there's some real normal people where you're like, why are you even here? You don't belong at all. Yeah. You yeah. gotta stand out more yeah. than the weirdos. What are you wearing here? Right. A t-shirt and jeans? Yeah, you don't do that here. That? <laughs> You have no socks on with your sandals. That is not right. <laughs> yeah, people get real into it. They do. Oh. They carry swords. And, oh, swords. Oh, my mugs. God. And if there's, yeah. a, you know, alcohol all around. Everyone is yeah. having a good time. A my <laughs> youngest brother always did the reenactments, like over by the glacial and all. Okay. He Are you talking about that. trail history? Yes. Oh, I thought yeah. she was talking about LARPing. LARP? <laughs> No, Trail of History. Like he, okay, he, way cooler. Oh yeah, than I was gonna Marvel. say. Hold on, get back to class here. <laughs> trail of like History. They, yes, I, went there like every I wish year. they would have I that. that. I, I saw him once. I was so impressed. I think that's how he met his wife too. She did Aww. it too. Yeah, I think. So. Well, they met in college, and I think they did kind of that stuff together. And he sews his own 
um, outfits and stuff. Really? Oh, uh, yeah. He borrowed my sewing machine for a really long time, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I knew. You were like, where the hell is my sewing machine? Oh, yeah. Damn it, brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he doesn't live close. He lives like four hours away. So, oh, you know, no. you want to meet me halfway with my sewing machine? That's Why does he just buy a sewing machine? I think he does now. They're but. like $100. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, I'm going to go back to my medical story real quick. So talking about masks and the shields and everything, right? So years and years and years ago, I remember hearing a story that they were all in surgery and there was like nurses, doctors, whatever. And they had a surgery on a a male patient. And all of a sudden he started getting like the, where the skin, um, ate itself or whatever. I don't know what it was called, but like where like it was turning like, and it was like, it was because of something that was in the air. Oh God. So they couldn't figure it out. They were testing him. They were testing him. I know where this is going. (laughs) (laughs) They were testing the patient and then someone on the board or whoever said, why don't we test all the people that were in the room? Because something happened. Did someone spit, cough, sneeze, whatever? No, you know what they did? They blew a fart. Ew. They blew a fart in the operating room. Ew. And so everyone had to get swabbed to see who had whatever it was that made this man have Shut this up. eating skin oh, eating no. disease from a fart. Oh, no. And we got people complaining about wearing their masks. <laughs> like, stop it. Like, you, you don't want to smell those farts anyways. You put don't a want mask those on your farts. butt. You don't want farts going yeah, up you your nose. Have, you don't have to worry about a lot with this. Like, oh, I got a pimple? No, we're no, good. I know, yeah. I know. You just put That's your eye makeup person. on yeah. or lack thereof because you say you don't wear makeup. Dude, but- <laughs> so many smelly people I've noticed. Yeah. Since we Can you imagine being the, the person that blew the fart in the operating room? Dude, I would feel so bad. It would be bad. me. It would be. First of all, I would never be in an operating room unless I was the patient. <laughs> but it would absolutely be me. What if it was your own fart that gave you gangrene? <laughs> <laughs> and this is why I wear a mask to sleep. Oh, no. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? Your own fart gives you gangrene. Oh, my God. They're like, we tested everybody's butthole. You're the only one left. <laughs> yep, it was you. Oh, I can't. I Stop mean, eating Taco Bell. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> damn, the bean burritos. <laughs> <laughs> hot sauce let's see so i mean super oh, sad story i'm glad you guys made it okay, funny so, for me talking about buttholes um <laughs> <laughs> a retail podcast I'm just, <laughs> I'm just gonna say this real quick because it gave me a good laugh so my neighbor sends out a snapchat not the one that makes cheesecakes but a different neighbor i have a lot of neighbors i live in a pretty big neighborhood so <laughs> you'll never know who i'm talking that's about. right it could be any one of the 12 neighbors right around me <laughs> anyways um, her, her boyfriend brought her home lunch and he brought her jalapeno chips and jalapeno corn and she's dipping the chips in the corn and eating it. Mm-hmm. And she was like, mm, jalapeno chips and corn. Sorry, butthole. And I <laughs> laughed so hard from that. I love when people can make fun of their own poop and farts and well, buttholes. Yeah. <laughs> it's normally like, oh, it's going to be a rough one. Tonight. Yeah. I know if I eat 12 jalapeno poppers, <laughs> it's going to be some trouble. There's going to be some <laughs> trouble. <laughs> So wait, when were you at Hobby Lobby shopping? It wasn't okay. on Sunday. I know that because they're no, closed. because they're closed. <laughs> I got to go to church and stuff. <laughs> um, so me and Grandma went to Hobby Lobby the other day. Actually, I think it was last week when we before we did And I podcast. know what you bought, and I cannot yeah. wait to see them. I know. So. I know. We'll I know. model them. We'll model them. I know. I'm so excited. I can't wait. <laughs> you know, I'm always I'm always hiring Grandma to make me I know, stuff. I know. She's the best, you know. Yeah. She does some stuff for me, too. I know. And I asked her, I'm like, how come you never taught me to sew? She's like, you didn't want to learn. She wants to do it <laughs> for like, you. Yeah, you're probably right. I didn't. Well, I was too concerned with riding bikes, you know. Um, so anyways, we're at Hobby Lobby the other day, and we're getting, like, quite a few yards of fabric and stuff. Yeah. So we're standing at the table for a while. And this you know, younger lady walks up behind us and she's waiting in line, you know, and I'm kind of like looking at the fabric, you know, they got like the bins near the cut table. So I'm just like looking at stuff and I'm like, Oh, this stuff is weird. This is like a plastic tablecloth almost, you know, like what would you use that for? And she was like, Oh, I have some of that in my hands. Actually, I'm going to make angel wings out of it. And I was like, Ooh, like melt them and like, you know, like make a form, put this stuff over it. Like, I don't know, staple it, melt it. It'll look like cool. Like, you know, like demon wings. And she was like, uh, no, not like that at all. Um, I'm, (laughs) 
She's like, I'm making these wings for my wedding. And I was like, what in the <laughs> world? <laughs> So then I, <laughs> and at that moment, I realized the mistake I made. <laughs> I was like, oh, really? And she starts telling me about her weird wedding. And like, it's like total, like, you know, I don't want to make fun of people because uh, I just try not to make fun of people, but they what? are totally like. You're on a comedy <laughs> podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I try, you know, I try not to put people down for like. Oh, right, so, right, 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 right. We just laugh with them. I mm-hmm. had a pink and purple wedding dress. I'm sure people talked a lot of shit you about You were in my Vegas, wedding. though. You know, it was perfect. I, I, I thought so. But So yeah. what was this wedding? I want to picture this it, wedding. Uh, dude, I should have been like, what's your Facebook? Come follow you. It's like, do the wedding. Because, okay, so. Oh, wait, it was her wedding or she was doing it for a wedding? Oh, wedding. oh, okay, okay. So she's going to have these, like, really weird plastic angel wings. And then her husband is going to have, like, devil horns and... That's I I Oh, why would you do that? I don't know. Cold, what, you mean like to walk down the aisle like that? Yes. Oh. Then she's telling me how her and her fiance have been together for like 4 years and they're finally getting married and they live in his mom's basement. Oh no. <laughs> oh my. Is it a big basement? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And that her mom and her brother still think that she's a virgin. Oh, oh that is a lot to say in Hobby Lobby. For real. I was like, uh, you can stop any second. She's comfortable, man. She she's was absolutely comfortable. But people tell me their secrets. I swear yeah, to God. Yeah, they do. They yeah. do. Like, people get comfortable I mean, around me. You know and how they just awkward I would blabbing. be? I would be like, oh, okay, so do you have the coupon? And I would like. <laughs> I would like show her my phone and be like, you're going to need to take 20% off oh of that. Oh my God. I'm no, so this awkward in that kind of stuff. This is, she did not work there. Nothing like, no, I know. That's, yeah. I know. It's weird. I know. I would want to give know. her something like here to take 20% off. <laughs> I just awkward laugh a lot. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. right yeah. I can and see it, you doing that. Seriously? Okay. So my grandma's getting the fabric cut and she keeps looking back. Like just stop talking to the weird fucking yeah. chick. You know? Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> so no. then she proceeded to tell me, that yeah, she she'd been homeschooled her whole life, so <laughs> that's why her mom thinks that she's so innocent and doesn't know anything, even though her best friend was pregnant at fifteen. So how would I not know how that works and blah blah blah? And I was just like, girl, okay, I heard enough. Like, <laughs> how okay? So expl- can you describe this person for me? I, I give me a color, hair, or how old, clothes, like, yeah. age. Can you? I cannot picture I'm gonna say, this person at all. I'm gonna say she was in her. Mid twenties. Okay, okay. So right. all right. A little bit younger than me. Maybe. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like she was a natural blonde, but she dyed her hair red. Okay, okay. Like like a like weird a red, weird red, a like weird red. bright, vibrant. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. She was definitely a lot taller than me. Oh wow. Okay. Um. Yeah. Wow. Okay. I don't know. Yeah. I, I came yeah. and like pictured. I came and picture it. So yeah. Interesting. I, it was weird. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And all I said was, wow, this looks like plastic tablecloth. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you know what everything. What would you use that for yeah. besides a tablecloth? That is so funny I how was conversations like, oh, start oh, you're like making that. making Halloween costumes. She's like, no, no, no. No, no, no. My wedding. no. Oh, my gosh. It's for my day, my special day. Well, yeah, right? Oh, what the hell? Wow. It was the weirdest conversation I've had in a very long time. Interesting. And I was a bartender for 10 years. I yeah, that was, weird that was fucking definitely, that's right up there. You know, the melting reminds me of, I just, I'm, now I'm going to, I'm going to be like you. I saw it on TikTok. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. I love it. <laughs> that um, a teacher takes plastic cups and puts her oven at the lowest temperature and puts the plastic cups on pans yeah. and melts them down to a flat surface and uses them as name tags for the kids. Oh. Because then they don't get crumpled. They yeah. don't. So she was using like um, like different color that they can like choose the Dixie from. Like Dixie cups. The Dixie Pink cups. and blue yeah. and yellow. Yeah, whatever color huh. they or wanted to pick. Or what do you call pick. them? Solo cups. Yeah. And Solo then she cups. would, yeah. um, I didn't see the, I don't think I saw the end of it, but I saw someone else doing it as well. And she would glue like a pin to the back and then oh. the, the, I think she had like second or third grade. So they were able to write their own name on it. Okay. But she said it lasts all year. Yeah. yeah like, and of course the comments were like, Oh, let's buy cups to melt them down and not drink from them. And she's like, you're not, you're not watching my whole video then because it, you know, like yeah. a lot of times they have the laminated uh, right. yep. name tags and right. by, you know, it halfway through the year, I think teachers probably have to relaminate oh, yeah. or yeah. whatever. So yeah. that's And what, you know what? Can we appreciate teachers for a second? That oh, lady yeah. was doing 
doing it in her house on her own time. time. So what the yeah. fuck Absolutely. do you care? I'm sure with her own money that and she bought got these too. And they got way more use than it would out of just drinking Drinking cup. out of it. Yeah, it out absolutely. Away. It'll last all yeah. year. Or maybe the kids will keep them too. Like, hey, yeah. this was my second grade. I still and then, have some of mine. Yeah, like exactly. Like my name tags and stuff. Yeah. You know, I try to mind my own business, but I can't help it. People tell me weird fucking stories about themselves. But yeah. y'all need to mind your own fucking business. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't your mama ever tell you if you don't have something nice to say, just shut the fuck up? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I've just been looking at so many people's comments. I'm like, oh no, I can't read the comments. I, I can't. Cannot you get mad. It literally, I, I my heart starts. Going yeah, it gives me a little bit of anxiety. Like, I got to I got to get away from this. Yeah, that's my mom. Hey mom, I know. I tell everybody you're a freaking troll on no, Facebook. Yeah, no. my mom is a troll. My mom loves getting in arguments with people on the internet. Aww. She loves it. I will write it out and then delete it. Stop it. She I don't share, even bother Your mom shares it all our stuff. I'm not going to talk bad about I'm her. I'm not talking bad about her. She just does. She That's knows what she it. does, right? Yeah. yeah, she writes everything We laugh out. about it all the time. She's yeah. like, oh man, I get them going real good. And I'm like, mom, that is terrible. <laughs> Aww. I'm like, she's probably going to, she's getting her own heart going. Yeah, you know? yeah, <laughs> yeah. Don't do that. Don't do that. I can we feel love you, it mom. in the morning. I'm like, oh, I got to get off of this. Yeah. 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 I actually put a timer on for TikTok do now. Do you? Yep. Because you'll watch it Because I'll four watch hours. it. All of a sudden, it'll be three o'clock in the morning. I'm like, oh, got to get up at five. Yeah. <laughs> you I love it. Well, you don't realize it. You just scroll, it. scroll, 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 you know, but. Because they're at most three minutes long. Yeah, so you yeah. Do you know how many yeah. TikToks that could be if I'm sitting yeah. there watching it for three yeah. hours? Yeah. yeah. No, I set my, I set it long. for 30 <laughs> minutes and then I put the golden girls on and fall asleep to oh, them Oh, there night. you go. Perfect. <laughs> I'm in Gilmore Girls right now. I just put that on. Oh, oh Gilmore yeah, Girls. yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's back on Netflix, I think, right? Yeah, that's what I mean. I only watched that a little bit, like when it first came out in like 1996 or whenever it was. Yeah. And I've never Never gotten back into it, but I, w- I was thinking about it the it's other good. day. Like I should start from the beginning. Good show, yeah. yeah, honestly. And then I in season one, I found a boom in the shot. I was like, really? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love seeing them when they yeah. mess up in the season shows. Season one, episode sixteen, seven minutes and seven seconds. In. <laughs> wow! Oh my god! <laughs> you could start a whole podcast. I guess on. we all make mistakes. <laughs> hey, we have the equipment. Start your own podcast about all these errors. You can't have it on Tuesday or Wednesday night, so. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't release them on Friday mornings. Yeah, no, you gotta do it a different day. A different day. Well, this was so fun. Thanks for joining oh us. Yes. You guys, Thanks, Jess. Honestly, wow. Yeah. I'm so glad I ran into you on Sunday. I know, yeah, that was actually great timing. She was like just like on break. Were you on break or leaving? No, I was or actually leaving early. She was leaving early. <laughs> She's like, I'm out of this bitch. <laughs> Pay me more and let me leave early. Run. That was when I went to Ren Fair. I left early. <gasps> yeah, I went right, to Ren Fair. Right. That's awesome. So she's scanning some stuff on her way out, and I'm like, hey, I was just stalking your TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> I see that you do reviews. Come on, the That's show. That's great. Yes. Yeah, so that was awesome. I love yeah. that. Like we that always was a good call. We have some people coming up on the show, some guests coming yes. on the show. But it, we because they're so busy, it's been like five weeks, six weeks out, yeah. seven weeks. So I mean, this was like. Three yeah. days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, literally, I'm always. I literally have a, every Wednesday and Saturday. Yeah, off, right? that's okay. that's I'm nice. Just, that's we'll nice. We'll remember that if we need to have someone on. We'll For call sure. You again. Yeah, I got our number. So, yeah. well, thanks so much. Yeah, this no, was so yeah. fun. It was really fun. They're so really I'll good. post all the companies. Yeah, yes. that we reviewed. They're all very good. That yes. worked out good. I was a little nervous when people were sending us messages. I'm like, is this going to be bad? But they were all good. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. very exciting. So, yeah. and thanks so much for our supporters, yes. to our supporters. Hey, did you buy us a coffee yet? Yeah. Ooh. The Clopin effect. Look us up. Buy me a coffee. Please. <laughs> and send us some money Please. on Venmo so we can keep doing this. Ooh. And maybe we'll, we'll go live We'll just use it for drinks. We'll just use <laughs> no, it for drinks. No, we won't. Will you stop spending Meredith. our money? Don't let Meredith <laughs> fool you. We're just going to buy alcohol with it. <laughs> Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll talk to you next week. Bye. This podcast is brought to you by Name Tag Productions, LLC. Entire podcast, unless otherwise stated, written by the hosts. Drums, written and performed by my son, Stephen. The Clopin Effect, a retail podcast. If we have to be all in this together, we might as well make it fun.